Moody Motor Skycam, really pretty picture at Lewis and Clark Lake right now, 38 degrees. Not much wind to speak of right now. In fact, the northernmost portions of the state, you're probably going to miss the worst of the wind. It's still going to be very, very windy. However, uh, Northern Knox County wouldn't rule out the possibility of some snowfall later on this evening. And because of the wind, maybe some whiteout conditions. Uh, it, it's going to be a wild day in, in weather today. Uh, and as you take a look, things calm right now. Things will be changing uh, quite drastically. With, with that in mind, I kind of wanted to take a closer look at what we might be seeing the rest of the day today. Now, I'm certainly not a meteorologist, uh, nor am I a very good forecaster. However, the National Weather Service is, and they have a new uh, system that they're rolling out, out, rolling out called forecast points that allows you to sort of zoom in on exact portions of a map and give you an idea of what you can expect weather-wise in that exact point for the rest of the day. So let's take a look at uh, National Weather Service's uh, forecast point here. Uh, and we'll kind of zoom in on some of the different areas around the state, give you an idea of what we're talking about. Morris has been talking about, you know, the severe thunderstorm uh, potential in areas of like Burt, Washington County. Let's zoom in here in, a, in Washington County where you're looking, you know, near the Blair area, basically. So what this does is it lets you know what to expect and kind of when to expect it. And right here, if you're in the Blair area, they're saying 63 mile an hour wind gusts. That's what you can expect today uh, and, a, and a pretty high probability of precipitation. As we get down sort of hourly, between 2 p.m. and 9 p.m., that's when the winds are going to be at their highest point. And when you look right here, 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon, that's the highest probability of seeing t some type of precipitation today. That's in the Blair area. Th this is uh, kind of focusing a little bit in this area because this is where, you know, that, that tornado potential has been uh, increased. This is uh, this is Omaha right here again. Potential for a maximum wind gust around 61 miles per hour. You see that enhanced risk for severe thunderstorms. Uh, looking at uh, wind speeds, base wind speeds 35 to 38 miles per hour between 6 and 7 p.m. And then you see these very high wind gusts between 3 and really about 9 o'clock tonight. But again, the biggest probability for precipitation coming uh, uh, between 3 and 5 p.m. this afternoon. We zoom out farther. Let's take a look uh, a little bit further into northeast Nebraska, kind of right on the border with Iowa. South Sioux City will give us a nice uh, a nice point of what we can expect in the northern, uh, northeastern parts of the state. Again, heavy, heavy wind gusts today. But here you see high probability for thunderstorms in this region as well. You see the enhanced risk for the severe thunderstorm. And right here, if you look at the probability of thunderstorms in that 4 o'clock hour, high probability you're going to be seeing some type of severe weather in the South Sioux City area area today and then that will be followed by seven eight hours worth of high high wind gusts well into the overnight hours tonight uh, let's move to southeast nebraska they, they're expecting record temperatures in that part of the state today uh, so if we zoom in let's zoom in on on say the beatrice area we'll click on uh, the beatrice area down here and again, high wind gusts expected. We're talking closer to 70 miles per hour in that area of the day today. Enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms. You've got a decent chance of precipitation between 1 and 5 p.m. today. Right about noon today, that's when the real heavy wind gusts are going to start, and they are going to roll right on through until 8 p.m. But look at these temperatures up into the 70s today. So you're talking about potential lightning, high temperatures, fairly dry conditions, and high winds. That's why these red flag warnings are in and we've had fire officials calling us today saying please make sure folks know don't burn today do not burn anything today because the wind is going to make it impossible to get any type of fire under control now out west we're talking snow yeah, we, we still have some snow potential uh, let's move up into Cherry County here sort of along Highway 20 and in this part of the state in this the part of the state you look at things are so different today. Heavy wind gusts, yes, but we're talking wind chills of like negative four by Friday. And as you look throughout the day today, heavy, heavy wind gusts, wind chills of about seven degrees uh, by four this afternoon and the potential for over an inch of snow. So combine that snowfall with the heavy wind gusts and these temperatures, you're looking at potential whiteout conditions in that part of the state. Bottom line, this is going to be a wild day of weather. Stay 
stay with us here at News Channel Nebraska. We'll have reports coming in yet this morning on what folks are expecting throughout the day. Uh, but now time for today's edition of UNMC Stars on NCN. News Channel Nebraska presents UNMC's Stars. Welcome to UNMC Stars, I'm Eric McKay. Pancreatic cancer can be difficult to detect and diagnose, but UNMC has resolved to be a worldwide leader, not just in the treatment of pancreatic cancer, but in its detection, and to be a leader in clinical research in the hopes of curing this deadly disease. Well, we actually have been a leader in pancreas cancer uh, research and in care. Uh, for a very long time. Uh, you know, our audience may not know, but we're actually the largest repository of a certain type of pancreas cancer specimens that are used for reference purposes all around the world. We're the home of uh, 10 major institutions in the United States and two in Western Europe uh, for diagnostic materials uh, and screening. But you know, I, what our audience really wants to know about is what does it mean to them? It means that we have a phenomenal way of doing early detection and screening for pancreas cancer, which is rapidly becoming the single most fatal cancer uh, in the United States. You know, most times when people get a diagnosis of pancreas cancer, uh, there's almost an immediate sense of hopelessness. And what we have done is through our early screening and diagnosis and through our very, very proactive uh, chemo, radiation, and surgical programs, created real hope and getting significant survivorship. You know, just like it is true with any cancer, the earlier you can make a diagnosis, the more precisely you can localize the tumor, even on a cellular 